Welcome back to another indie game review by the Swedish War Goat in exile in Norway as always. Eichenfell is a turn-based tactical indie RPG developed by Happy Ray Games and released on the 8th of October 2020, available to Windows, Mac, PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. In Eichenfell, you play as a teenage girl named Marit, who lives in a world where magic exists. Marit is an ordinary, meaning a person that can't perform magic, and she's traveling to a magic school by the name of Eichenfeld to find her missing sister Sabrina, who apparently is a witch in training there. Almost immediately, Marit stumbles upon Eichenfeld and discovers both that she has pyromancer abilities and that the school of Eichenfeld is in lockdown. The story is simplistic and clearly inspired by Harry Potter. I am not a fan of the series and most likely not in the intended audience for this game, as I am a grumpy 30 year old plus drunk with an interest in conspiracies and the darker side of the human psyche and not in children's fantasy, so naturally I find the story uninteresting and boring already from the first couple of dialogues. It does not get better as I progress, as the dialogues are way too long, occur too often and are both dull and tiresome. A lot of the characters in Eichenfeld are bi, trans or gay, as this is a LBTGTQ plus friendly game. As such, it also uses the C, sir, pronouns for character. Personally, I couldn't care less, but the game has gotten positive reviews based on things like that. The gameplay in this tactical turn-based game is ripped straight from the Paper Mario games, where players will need to time button presses successfully to achieve maximum damage or defending. Fast reflexes are a plus, and the battle mechanics are the most engaging part of this game even though the battles are slow and as such also lose my interest after a short while. If you find that they are too annoying, you have the ability in the settings to put on auto win and full hit, if you just want to cruise through the game's story. I don't know why you should want to do that, to be honest. You do have an overworld map and dungeons to explore, with some simple puzzle solving, but the game is extremely linear, so you'll just follow the storyline and battle yourself through tedious battles until you finish the game after about 18 to 20 hours or so. The graphics are, as you see, somewhat mediocre, pixel art inspired by awesome games from my childhood. They are not bad in any way, but they're still kinda boring and generic. One of the positive aspects of this game is its soundtrack. Some of the background music is also mediocre, but you do have some sweet tunes to look forward to, especially one of the battle themes and the overworld theme. The other is that the save points are cats, that also fully restores your HP. Cats are cool, and I approve. The price for Eichenfeld is $19.99, and based on that extremely high price, I give this game a score of 4 out of 10. I find that Eichenfell is a mediocre game and way too long and boring for its own good, especially as there are loads of awesome retro 16-bit JRPGs you could spend your time with instead. On the other hand, if you're a child, teenager or perhaps mentally challenged, you might enjoy this game. Have you played Eichenfell? What did you think? Please leave a comment, press thumbs up and subscribe and all that stuff. Peace out.